We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Arizona Cardinals. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. On first down, Dobbs to throw. And incomplete to open things up. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They can't beat us. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Dobbs. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Dobbs is throwing. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. On play action, it's Dobbs. That pass complete to Moore. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 34. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 22 now, here's a second and seven. To throw is Dobbs. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Richie Grant. And the Falcons are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. A man from nearby Tucson who was a prep standout here in Arizona. It's Bijan Robinson. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Third and two. Working from the gun, Ritter. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Falcons first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover. 
gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got us a turnover. <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. Second down and a run by Robinson. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Here's Dobbs to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Out of the gun, Dobbs. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. From the 35, here's second and three. Back to throw Dobbs. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Dobbs. Or 
Hicks has it left side. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. I can hear the film session right now. I can hear the coach saying to his team, guys, how does a guy that big get that open? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Imagine him as a kid just trying to play hide and seek. No chance. No chance. He no goes chance. to hide behind the skinny tree. You see the front, <laughs> the back, the top. Good luck. Yeah, you see him. You don't see the tree. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. From the 21, it's second and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he is out of bounds but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. No score after one on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line as they've got it as we resume action. They'll run here with Connor, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, I know a defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. No gain on the play and what to do now on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. Taken at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. Short throw caught by Pitts. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and a couple. Ritter to throw it. Going for Kyle Pitts again. He's got him again. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he's up to the 40-yard line. 
Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first and ten, it's Robinson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. They'll run again here with Robinson. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. The Ritter back to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Ritter will set up to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 36. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed. And they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Back to throw. Ritter. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Ritter. That is caught. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Ritter off to play fake. Right back to Pitts again. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Ritter here on third and two. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And the deliver there is that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Here's Ritter. Touchdown, Falcons! Desmond Ritter on target to Drake London. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. With the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. He's got his target. That's Zach Paschal. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a second and five. Here's Dobbs to throw. Throws this one right side to Pascal. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense, so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now second and three. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. That pass complete to Moore. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Dobbs is throwing. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Grady Jarrett in there to get him. It's a loss of five. 
Another forceful rush there by Jarrett. Not a lot of help for him making these types of plays last season. Managed six sacks, which led Atlanta. But good news, the Falcons, they've overhauled their defense this offseason. He should have a lot more help now. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And able to get this out to the 25. And the Falcons going to get one more drive here in this first half. One second, all that remains. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. Cordero Patterson still going inside the 30. And it'll be an excellent return as he's all the way down inside the 25-yard line. In a game like this, you're fighting, you're scratching, you're clawing, you're hammering away. That return has the feel of maybe cracking the rock and giving them a chance to get a big-time advantage. Second half begins with a run by Robinson. And a short gain here down to the 22. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They work now on second and nine. On play action, here's Ritter. Forced out to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Ritter now. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Ah, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. Koo knocks this one through the post. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And they'll accept that penalty.
The roughing the kicker called on fourth down. What a big break. Leads to a first and ten. Ritter from the gun. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. It's caught, Smith. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here comes third down at seven. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Koo knocks this one through the post. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. Moore now on the return. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. But well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Dobbs now on second down. He's going deep for Brown. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Dobbs. Screen pass to Connor. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. And I know that one didn't work out the way they thought, but I don't think it was a bad time to call this play. You're thinking on third down, you might possibly see some pressure. You might see a blitz. So they tried to set up the screen, but that one was well read, and they stopped them for no gain. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. That's taken on the 25. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And it will be Falcon football. Atlanta regains possession of the football. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready. Right at the 30. He'll get it to Robinson to begin the drive. And he stopped immediately there. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. 
all runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Now a second and ten. A give to Robinson on the option. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Ritter has it knocked down. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. They start the drive with Connor. Jeff Okuda up from his quarterback spot to make the play. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and five. Dobbs. A good throw here, finding Pascal. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They run behind center with Connor. Richie Grant in on the tackle. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Second and five. Again, a run with Connor. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Here's Dobbs to throw. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead them to fourth down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is Ken. There he goes, right side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment.
And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On first down, Ritter. A quick throw there is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. The Ritter back to throw. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Sticking with the passing game, here's Ritter again. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Getting in there and finishing the playoff was my Jay Sanders. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. The drive will start with Connor. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second and nine now from the 21. Now Dobbs. And he's got the hook up to Moore. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And they keep making the connection. They'll try and run for it with counter. And not only will he not get the few inches he needs, he's going to go backwards. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Arizona. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Short throw to Smith. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Second and seven. Ritter. And this one is incomplete. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. And this offense on third down today, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and seven. Back to throw, Ritter. That is caught, and he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, 
that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Well, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. Fighting to stay on his feet past midfield and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Now that's a killer because you think you've got it absolutely covered and then he hot foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third and then the tables turn. Robinson, he'll try the left side. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. 48 yards on the ground for him so far. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Ritter off the play fake. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Certainly some pressure here on Young Way Koo. This will get the lead up to seven. Koo knocks this one through the post. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13-6. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And the 
Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Bud Dupree off the edge and getting to the quarterback. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Lorenzo Carter in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And how about this for a setup? The ball will go over on downs at the one-yard line. Robinson, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Ritter going to keep it. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall once more. Robinson is into the end zone it's a Falcons touchdown and they would not be denied on the ground powering it in just one play after they got stopped short and how about how many tight ends were on the field because in today's NFL we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher but this group they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team and they committed to it and got it done right there Koo able to connect on the extra point and the lead now up to 14. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. All eyes on the Cardinals now. Down by two touchdowns. Just over a minute, 40 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. On the set. Dobbs able to find Ertz at this stage this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them and if I'm the offensive play caller I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield I'm looking at some of my specials something that can fool them and give you a big play now with a sense of urgency no doubt here comes second down at five now Dobbs and that's complete to Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, Dobbs. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. 
Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. This definitely four-down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Down to a knee goes Ritter, and that should be enough to finish this one off. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.